There is that reunion here on the laurel wreath, you guys. Waking up knowing um, this transactional sword here, wanting to, having clarity, having received clarity, and also wanting to get that across to you of what it is they want here. That sun card, guys, it's so super duper strong here. They know that you're in this queen of wands energy. <laughs> They're also in some ways feeling confident, but in other ways, you see that lion trying to get the courage. And we see that also here in their overall energy card, guys, excuse me, with the king of wands, the king of wands and the queen of wands there, getting over those obstacles and that three of pentacles here. Look how easy it was, they're saying. There's the path. Letting go here, guys. Angel of past issues. This, the really the five here, the change and letting go of that conflict, the instability here. Who and doing what? Well, possibly offering this, that two of cups, guys. Whether that is a proposal for marriage or a proposal to start something new, which we also see in the Queen of Wands, guys. That restart after that wand has burned down, that regeneration, the renewal. It's so super strong here. But the two of cups, guys, and fast now. The energy has been so fast in your reading, Taurus. I have to say that eight of pentacles here, that commitment, the eight, the action, the movement, they can't get to you fast enough. I have to tell you for this wheel of fortune, Taurus, you're here, this outcome. <laughs> Taurus, your reading has been amazing and beautiful. And you, you, I would say you hold the cards, but I think that you, you spin the wheel. <laughs> That's what I want to say to you. You are spinning that wheel. You are in charge of that wheel. Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Oops. <laughs> With me, Chris. Hi. Welcome. Welcome also. If, oh, look at all that sage coming off. <laughs> Excuse me. And here's a one. Okay. So here, here begins our reading as always. But guys, this wanted to be in your reading. So I'm going to set it here. Number one, new beginnings, opportunities, guys. Look. <laughs> there it is. That's yours. Going to set it here. Okay. Also potential. I want to tell you that. So let's see what's going on. I do want to say to you that I um, did put the guardian angel reading cards down today. I also had them out for Capricorn and I was really feeling like they wanted to be in your reading today. I felt very drawn and uh, one in particular kept falling out. So this top card here, I do know what it is will come in your reading. We will possibly channel more. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Taurus, hello. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Also, hello, cross watchers. And I didn't get a chance to say hello if you are new to the channel. Hi, welcome to your bonus reading for February 2022, 2022. However, I really need to make sure that you know when you get here is when you're meant to be here. Readings truly are timeless. So if you are feeling drawn to be here today, there is a reason regardless of the date. I also wanted, whew, I'm breathless. Do you hear this? <laughs> um, this was a lot like, well, I have to say there was a, a lot of breathless energy with Capricorn and Virgo. And part of that is, guys, you are earth signs and, well, you're in the earth, in the ground here and starting to come up for air. Now, the energy was really strong with Capricorn, very strong with Virgo, and I'm feeling it for you too, Taurus. So that is a message for you coming through already here. Um, lots of clearing of the air. I want to tell you guys, clarity, things happening Things are moving and they're moving fast. And you can hear it in my breath and this deck is even fast. <laughs> what I wanted to say is there's a lot of energy. Before I turn the camera on, there's a lot of energy. Now there will continue to be. It can feel like a private reading, can also be there are particular messages for you in particular decks at particular times. Taurus, this is your love reading, also your love tarot reading, tarot love reading. 
normally your love oracle reading, but today we are looking at um, angel guardian angel reading cards. And as always, the tarot closet, channeled love messages, and channeled song messages. A couple of things I want to say, guys. I do have playlists down below if you want to cross-watch for everything in your chart, in particular your rising sign. Very important. Also for your person. And the last thing I want to say to you, well, before I say that to you, the playlists are below <laughs> in the description. And of course, you can get to them by navigating through the channel. I want to remind you that this is not a prediction. You do have free will. Please remember that as everyone does. Energies, outcomes can, will, and do change. So please keep that in mind as you are watching and or listening to your reading today, however you um, take in your your readings, some people like to have them playing while they're cleaning, um, have their ear pods in. Some people like to sit and watch and listen. Whatever that is, please keep that in mind for yourself. And do you see this? This is wanting to be in your reading already, so we will set it down. Let's get started. Thank you, spirit, guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you bring us some clarity, peace, understanding, and answer any questions that might be asked of you <laughs> today for our Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as cross watchers, anyone who has arrived here today seeking clarity and understanding in regards to the person they have arrived here for today. We thank you for your help and your guidance, your love and your clarity. All right, a very sticky card. I'm gonna start turning them over here, guys. Ace of Swords, very interesting. Ace of Swords was quite prominent uh, in Virgo's reading. And we had the Knight of Swords <laughs> in the, um, excuse me, in Capricorn's reading. And one of the reasons I want to talk about this with you here today is it's so much about clearing the air, guys, and clarity here. Um, somebody truly kind of waking up to something here, wanting to offer clarity, possibly it's you, can also be that you're going to receive clarity. This is the Ace of Swords, guys, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And as we talked about as the reading had begun, excuse me, that there is some clearing going on. And look, here you go. There is a confirmation of that already. Okay, guys, the Hierophant card here, Taurus. <laughs> wow, this is your energy here. Um, I want to tell you, and this is also coming down right in the second placement here. And this is your first card coming down here in the reading. So there is definitely some clarity being, being excuse me, offered um, or received here. And it can also have to do with, well, family, I want to tell you that can also be, guys, I want to tell you, well, other people, we see that for a lot of you family. Um, this can have to do with long distance, I have to say. All kinds of stuff going on here. <laughs> Religion, cultural differences, but some clarity being offered here. And if you're looking, guys, look. Here the two of you are. Somebody is more prominent. Somebody is coming for the, to offer that, is what I want to say. Excuse me. Is that you, Taurus? Is that you, Cross Watcher? I feel like it's your person, Taurus. I have to tell you. And look, there is that dove here coming right up in between you. There are the two flowers, guys, the two of you, Twin Flame Soulmate Energy. If you're not on a Twin Flame journey, please let that go. Not everything will be for you. Please remember to take what is yours and leave the rest. But there you both are, somebody offering, somebody waiting, and there it is, coming up with love, as what I want to say to you. And also, guys, with that bird, really wanting to make things lighter, quite literally, when you see the bird, guys, making your heart lighter, listening to messages. Somebody's waking up and listening, is what I want to say. Taurus. <laughs> Taurus, 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 um, is that you? Are you having a wake-up energy? And I, I do feel that. I felt very high vibrations with Virgo and a lot of energy lifting. I, I felt like I could levitate cards with Capricorn. So I have to say it, it, this is a very um, strong collective Earth energy going on now, which is not surprising, guys. We are in February. February is a fast-moving month and propels us right into March and spring. Uh, for a lot of you, depending on where you are in the world, I have to say, 
Of course, if you are on different sides of the world, you're coming out of the spring and going into winter, but we'll talk more about that later. Let's get some more cards down for you, okay? Guys, uh, interesting here, the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, I wasn't expecting to see that, I have to say, but I'm actually not surprised. The Pentacles really are representing for you that commitment. I wanna tell you, and that is nine, and a nine can be attainment, wishes fulfilled, also things coming to fruition, guys. Be interesting if we see the Ten of Pentacles coming down here today. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. And I just bumped into this seven-point star here. So, guys, all right, look. We have the Two of Cups, Cancer, and Energy here. Yeah, guys, definitely about your person. Look, this is sticking off for you. You have the Sun card. All right, guys. Um, this is what I want to say to you first off before we get started. The Sun card is... Uh, a 10 is what I want to tell you. This is a 19, the card number, but it comes to a 10. It's the sun card, guys, an outcome here. Um, there is that bird flying above here. There are the two of you, also the two of you here, and the butterflies, transformations, big time. Taurus, 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 Taurus. <laughs> and I have to say to you, somebody's feeling guilty here about something, wanting to come and offer some well, some clarity here, guys, but also, <laughs> uh, yeah, we have the Two of Cups, I want to tell you. So it can be for some of you, Taurus, and this was your energy in your last reading as well, proposals. Now, can it be marriage? It can, but it can also be a proposal to get together. New beginnings is what I want to tell you. Starting over here, clearing the air really has a lot to do here with this Hierophant card. It's right there in your partnership, guys. Um, gosh, a lot of imbalance going on there. The Queen of Wands. All right, that's not surprising, I have to say to you. <laughs> Guys, um, really, here, you're feeling it. <laughs> Taurus, Taurus, you're really feeling it here, I have to say to you. Um, look at that wand, guys, on fire. Who? Um, what happens at the end of a fire? Guys, I want to say to you. Fire can be a destroyer, it's true. But I want to say in your reading, in your case already, it's coming through really strong. It's getting rid of some old ways of thinking, some possibly some old ways of living here and starting over. Fire can be a destroyer, guys, but it can also be a um, begin things again, uh, re regenerate is what I want to tell you. The soil, the ground. Uh, Taurus, it's very goosebumpy already. You are an earth sign. That is where you are connected to the earth, guys, to the divine. Nature is everything. It's everything is what I want to say to you. And nature does that. Nature will, unfortunately, it's not great, of course. It will cause fires and they destroy. But the ground, it's necessary for nature to rejuvenate is what I want to tell you. And sometimes things need to be... Sometimes that happens so that nature can replenish itself, can rejuvenate and come back even stronger. And that is what I'm feeling here for you. And also in the way of love, look at all those flowers and look at those two sunflowers. There you are again, guys. Um, yeah, what is this? Is this a reevaluation of what it is that you want um, for yourself? I feel like for some of you, there was a difference in where you were going in your life. Now, it can be to do, as I said, with families of origin, can also be your family for some of you that have families together. But really, it's really more about that, what is that third party is what I want to tell you. And it can be other people, another person, excuse me, but I'm feeling more for you, Taurus, that it's a lot of other people and also ideas of where things were, where they didn't go, where they could go, and a reevaluation of all of that. Your person um, here, it's very goosebumpy, very, very strong, wanting to offer that. And you're reading. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, three of pentacles here. Yeah, Capricorn energy here. Guys, look, it's coming right below the nine of pentacles. And I want to say to you, I'm this very strong, strong energy, Taurus, of coming together and reevaluating it together. 
this is a two guys, okay? I have to say to you, um, a decision on the table about what? The two of you, about your partnership here, can be for some of you that you, <laughs> Taurus or cross watcher or your person, which is coming in much stronger, um, might be willing to go a different road here with a proposal. I have to say it can be a marriage proposal. That was very strong in your last reading, Taurus. But it's not always going to be that. However, I do want to say to you, we do see the Hierophant here, and that can also be about that future is what I want to say. But things needing to be cleared here, really a very strong need for clearing. We've talked about it so much. And what else did we talk about in the very beginning of the reading? Feeling and being breathless here. It's a fire burning, guys. Um, it could have already been put out here about your partnership. Taurus, very, 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 very much here. I have to say to you, there is that bird right behind. Now, um, crows can come. I want to say to you, too, that's the other interesting thing. They can come and leave gifts for you. If you are to... If you, if you wrong a crow, it's very interesting. They don't forget. Um, they don't forget. They will remember. Isn't that um, amazing? Also, if you help them. And I want to say to you here with that burning wand, and also this is yours. It flipped over as we were channeling here. That is a big part in what is happening here with this beginning. It's something also really needing to be let go here, Taurus. Is that you? Is that your person? Well... Guys, coming right below this hierophant, is this people getting in, in, in the, an obstacle, excuse me, obstacles of other people here? For some of you, I have to tell you very much here. Also can be just particular expectations is what I'm feeling that have to be let go. You guys, I have to say here with this too and this decision and this big move here, kind of hiding a little bit out in the naughty corner. <laughs> is the naughty corner, I have to say. Here's some more. Say chair at the table, excuse me. Somebody coming to that uh, waking up energy here, guys, very strong, needing to offer some clarity here, but also something being let go can also be your person. But I feel like some of you too, guys, here, but the energy is very, very strong that this is all connected to whatever it was that separated you in the first place, who wanted what, who could do what. For some of you, as I said, there is a long distance energy that is not for everybody, but Taurus, the Hierophant, excuse me, is your card. It's here. And that five, I want to tell you, is all about change, but it's also about, can be about conflict, excuse me, and instability. And that is the thing in your reading today. It's being let go, guys. Um, we see that burning wand, the ideas of whatever that was going to be. Um, it's going to totally start new is what I want to say to you. New ideas, new expectations here. Um, willingness to let particular things go for some of you that really might be ideas that you had based on other people's expectations of you. That is just really, really strong. Let's see what is going on here. All right, guys, um, <laughs> I have to say to you, look, are you seeing this? Eight of Pentacles here, Virgo energy. Virgo has been really, really strong, I have to say. You know what is happening here? It really is about all the, the work, uh, guys, that is going to need to be done, first of all. And um, your reading is coming down very differently. If you watch my readings, you know I generally turn them over and begin and get your overall energy. This is how it has been, I have to say to you, with Capricorn and Virgo for your bonus, for these bonus readings for Earth. You guys, um, really, the, the energy is just moving quite fast. February is fast, as I said. But it's this Earth energy. It's this collective energy. It's really high vibrating is what I want to say to you. Lots of air clearing, people coming forward, wanting to offer explanations. Taurus, I feel an apology is coming on here, wanting to work things out, guys. The Two of Cups right below it here, the Eight of Pentacles, all really about figuring it out and getting to that point that you both want to be here. Um, are you going to accept it, Taurus? That is the question. This is an eight. First of all, I want to tell you really all about action, mastering something here, which is no surprise because that is the Eight of Pentacles as well. The pentacles are all about commitment is what I want to tell you. Can be a lot of things. This is your love reading. This is the commitment between the two of you here. 
And here's the other thing about the pentacles, guys. First of all, it's the earth energy. We know that and just very, very strong. That is your energy here. But it's also about the relationship and the practicalities, the practicalities of the relationship. Really, in combination here with your energy, the Taurus, excuse me, Hierophant card, guys. Is this about distance for some of you? Yes. Is this about the future here? Is it about logistical type things for some of you, I have to say, but for a lot of you too, it just goes really uh, much deeper than that. I want to tell you here of letting particular ideas go or something go that came between you is what I want to tell you. It's super strong here with the Queen of Wands. And I love the Queen of Wands energy. I always have. It's just a very, um, a lot of confidence here in that renewal is what I want to say to you. And I'm feeling it for you, Taurus, but also your person, just feeling like they know. Um, gosh, you guys, okay, and this is sort of lingering on. Look here, I want to tell you, we're going to look at it. And, okay, now it just fell. What's going on? Does it want to be in our reading or not? Okay, yeah, I guess it does. So we're going to put it here. I'm going to put it on the side, but look what it is. <laughs> It's the Wheel of Fortune. Guys, I want to tell you that is another 10 here. There, the end of the uh, end of a cycle, big time. Completion and what? Renewal, renewal, rejuvenation here. The confidence is kind of off the chart. And I have to say to you, I'm feeling very strong here that it's both of you, but especially your person. We will get your overall energy in a moment. Look, Taurus, here you are today. This is you. This is your selenite. Look how it's been glowing. It's just the most beautiful glow. And that really, I have to say, Taurus, this would be, well, if I were to say to you what is going on with the earth signs right now, this is what I would say. You guys are, you're glowing. It may not be, you may, it may be that you can't see it yet is what I want to tell you. You're an earth sign. And one of the things I want to tell you is, well, with an earth sign, it's, it's under the ground. And right now things are changing, but you can't see them just because you can't see it. <laughs> doesn't mean that it's not real is what I want to tell you. Um, this high vibrational energy here, the other thing I want to say to you, this opening up, this waking up energy, it's very strong for you, Taurus, um, you and your person, I have to tell you. And also guys, the thing with the selenite, it, it is protective. Oftentimes we can use it as to form protective grids around us in our house, carried around with us, whatever it is, rituals, whatever it is you're wanting to protect yourself from. And what I want to say is I feel like you're coming out of that. I'm ready to communicate. Also, especially now we see it here already with your person really wanting to come guys, having some clarity here and wanting this, this outcome. This is the sun card. And again, this is coming to a 10. Um, guys, that wheel of fortune energy, I have to tell you here, <laughs> Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius is here. And guess who else is here? Taurus. You are here. You are here. This is the wheel of fortune, guys. It's a, things changing. And we feel that so incredibly. Look at that. How beautiful. <laughs> it's moving so fast. <laughs> the change here is incredible. You're all over the board here. The board, the table, excuse me. Your energy is strong, Taurus, here. Things are changing. And look, the sun card. What is happening with the sun? Well, it's getting a lot stronger. We're having longer days. We're having more sun, guys. It's happening. That is the time we're coming into. There is that bird again, wanting to make things lighter. Your angels, spirit guides are listening to you. Prayers being answered, things being um, wishes fulfilled. I have to tell you, it's very strong with the nine of pentacles here. That is in a partnership. Now, if you are here and you say, I'm moving on, I for sure, or I've already moved on, then this is something new for you, I have to tell you. Um, but for you, Taurus, regardless of where you are in your journey in love, this outcome for you is beautiful. I have to say that to you. And a lot about the love, guys. We have the pentacles there. Can it be for some of you too? This is about money. Um, yeah, it can. Um, that just that is just a the nature of the nine of pentacles. But I have to say to you, I'm channeling your love reading today. And that nine, it's almost a ten. But we also see the ten all over the board. The wheel of fortune, the sun card. Where did the excuse me the sun card come? It came right below the ace of swords, guys. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Somebody figuring it out, a, a pretty major wake up energy. And here's what I also wanna to say to you. You see this flower here, it's, it's flowers can represent new love or a blooming love or a love reblooming. And that is what I wanna tell you. Now it's a little broken off here. We can see there's one um, petal here that's kind of away from the rest of the flower. We did see that one guys coming into play here very strong. What is that? Well. It, this the time right now is all about change you guys there's the sun it's out longer here you're coming up from that earth you might not see that seed that's been planted that that flower seed whatever that is uh, for a lot of you it's the flower of love I have to tell you it's super strong and it's about to come up and there is the sun and what do we need to grow we anything we need the sun we need the fire element guys look at that we need the fire element we need the air to fly around and, and pollinate the flowers we need the earth we need the water we need the rain who your reading Taurus is all about beginnings here and that particular excuse me I'm a little itchy here um <laughs> that was very strong also in Virgo's reading I have to say itchy feet interesting if your person is a Virgo it's in their chart or it's in your chart anyway but there is that one infinite possibilities guys opportunity new beginnings new beginnings coming to a 10 here we're coming into that your angels are listening and there are those butterflies guys i have to tell you transformational transformations are not easy some of you might still be um you know spinning around in that dark cocoon but boy are you about to come out if you haven't already your person as well guys super big new start here on the table i have to say to you and taurus it can be that it's you okay offering this wanting this dreaming about this it can be a lot about the dreaming going on i'm putting your one here guys actually here I'm going to put it in that one with that one petal but i don't feel that it's just the feeling it's not just the oh i'm dreaming about it i'm wishing it it's really pretty intense that it's it's coming it's coming your way guys i have to say to you look here <laughs> we will look at the overall energy i promise i'm not going to forget there is that gemini virgo coming through with that throat chakra it has been so strong for you earth signs uh, communication here big time also wanting to clear the air offer clarity having clarity is what i want to say somebody is seeing things in a different way somebody wants to start over here guys is that you can be can be both of you too but it's really strong with your person's energy here so strong guys um there is that sword and that is all about clarity is what i want to tell you and also look being clear about what they want what is that it's the laurel wreath here right at the tip what is behind the dog here it's the sun what else do we see guys um excuse me <laughs> we see the sun card here there is that sun card there is that outcome there is there are the angels i have to tell you spirit guides guardian angels with you it's no accident that i chose to put the guardian angel deck out again i had removed it and it came back in the reading here this transformational energy, I have to tell you, this renewal that we also see here in the Queen of Wands, guys, it's so very, very strong. And also, excuse me, but that wake up energy, being clear, wanting to come, and the sword is transactional. It's getting something done, guys, having clarity in the relationship and wanting to be smart about it too. I have to say your person, because if they're going to get this sun outcome, offering you the sun outcome guys getting this clarity here with this ace of swords excuse me that new start we see here in that one petal realizing that there is that sun energy what is it that got, they got clear on i'm my voice is affected now it's <laughs> your energy is incredible taurus it's the partnership with you and there it is we see that bird their spirit here listening making things lighter your angels answering prayers you guys i have to tell you so transformational we talked about it with the butterflies we see it here with the the with the regeneration excuse me here and the queen of wands guys wanting to do that work on what the partnership those are the pentacles and there is that aid again there is that movement that action guys really can't can't get to you fast enough do you see that to do what this guys the two of cups the love between you taurus is 
very emotional, very intense. You're ready to talk. Somebody's looking over here too, feeling kind of proud about it. <laughs> is that your person? Is that you? But look, there, there it is again. There is that bird again. Really just a protected partnership, I want to tell you. But also listen closely to what is going on now. Pay attention to those dreams. Listen to your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels. Follow your intuition because you are be giving giving signs, uh, being given signs here, I want to say. Excuse me, guys. Um, it's moving so fast, I have to tell you. There is that decision on the table, but this is the two of cups, guys, and I feel more like it's somebody here cannot wait to get in and make this offering. It's so emotional. I see that. This is the two of cups here, but you're both in it. Somebody is looking here like, look, look what I'm offering. Look, look what conclusion I've come to. We see them racing in. We see them waking up here. Guys, I, and I have to tell you, there is a feeling of your person here, guys. It can also be you, but I feel very much it's your person having that, but being afraid that maybe you're not going to accept it here, guys. We have the three of pentacles here. We see that there is something, interestingly enough, somebody said to me in a reading the other day, like, oh, it's an elephant in the room, um, which is, that can be, of course, when elephants come into a reading. And well, this is, a, <laughs> these are dogs, but an elephant has come into the room here. And we've talked a lot about that. It can be about more, more than one person here, guys. It can be about things you couldn't agree on. But I want to say we see it with the three of pentacles, but look what we're seeing again here as well. It's be wanting to be worked out. Somebody's climbing on top of that here, getting ahead of it, getting over it is what I want to tell you. Getting over it, that three, what is that third thing, guys, for you? What is that third party? Is it another person? Is it other things going on, other people? For a lot of you, yes, we see that with the Hierophant card, your Taurus energy. But for most of you, it's the obstacles that you have in this connection that you couldn't maybe agree on, whether it's distance, um, something to do with families. I have to tell you something you couldn't agree on here. Hi guys, camera just died. Practicalities of the partnership guys with the pentacles here. And that's what I wanted to say to you. But what is that third? Well, look, it's your person climbing over it. Looking back saying, look, do you see? Look what I can see now. Look what's over here. Look what's over once we climb over that, once we let it go here, guys. We're almost at a 10 here with those pentacles. We're at a 10 here with the Wheel of Fortune, with the Sun card here. What is over that? What is over that, guys? A new path, a new start. It's the Wheel of Fortune. It's the Sun card. The Sun card is all about a new start and the outcome. What happens with a flower that's coming up that you can't see, that earth energy? As I said, it's changing, it's growing, just like the butterflies here in their cocoons. And it's coming up with the help of the sun here. Somebody climbing over that and looking and saying, look, there is that new start for us. There is that wheel of fortune, guys. Uh, very, very much like a presentation here. And there you both are again, too. That twin flame soulmate energy is super strong. I have to tell you. And guys, as I always say, if you're not on a twin flame journey or you don't believe in it, let it go. Then it's not for you. But I know there's a lot of energy here and I know there are twin flames here and, and you need that confirmation and I will offer it to you if it comes through and it has. And there it is. You know that this is a connection that is one that you want. Both of you really want it. Now, as I said, if you're here and you feel like I, I can't, I don't want it can very well be, guys, all these tens we're seeing here, and even that nine of pentacles and that regeneration going on here with the queen of wands, you're feeling confident and starting over completely. That is here for those of you that resonate with that. It just is. If that's what resonates for you, then take that. You take what's yours, you throw away the rest here. But guys, you can't unsee <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune here, the Sun card here, excuse me, not the Sun card, I'm holding up as I say the Sun card, the Three of Pentacles, the Sun card, guys, and it coming down right below the Ace of Swords, somebody getting that clarity, wanting that new start, possibly coming here with that Two of Cups offering here. Can it be a proposal? Yeah, it was on your, it was, it's been strong in your reading. I have to say for a long time, Taurus, somebody really wanting to offer you possibly a proposal can be you as well. 
but it can also just be about let's start over. Let's talk. Let's get together. Are you seeing this? <laughs> Taurus. And look, as I said, cannot get there fast enough. That's the interesting thing. Did things just move as I'm saying that? I feel like they did here. Wow. Okay. Can't get there fast enough here. Um, wanting to do that work, guys. That eight of pentacles. Do work on what? The relationship, the commitment here. Now, again, if you feel like, no, I really am done. Well, look at, look at your reading. <laughs> Somebody coming in here and wanting to offer that, I have to say. And for some of you, this is your energy here. It can be that, they, that you are connected somehow through families. That's the interesting thing for a lot of you here too. Um, but guys, there's that butterfly also, excuse me, on the nine of pentacles. You seeing that? There it is right up there above it. I, I have to say, um, Taurus, the energy is fast. The energy is really a lot about change here. So much about change. Um, confidence in what somebody has figured out here, the clarity that they have gotten, and also the clarity they want to give here, and possibly way more than that, I have to say to you. But the outcome um, is the outcome here. Now remember, it's not a prediction. Energies, outcomes can do, can will and do change. Um, that is just a fact. You have free will, but everybody has free will. But this energy of going into this, this is yours. This Wheel of Fortune card, whatever that means for you. What is, what is it that you're hoping changes here? Well, you're here in a love reading, Taurus, for a particular person, and that is just really strong on the table. And it can be that it's about love for you in general, but either way, whatever, whatever's going on, wherever you are, in your love journey in life, things are changing for you. Um, big time, I have to say, and fast. We see it here very, very, very fast. And I love this sum card outcome for you. And I also love that the Wheel of Fortune was the last card that really wanted to be here in your reading. Okay, guys, we are going to look at Guardian Angel reading cards now. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait. This was yours, I want to say, um, that I had seen already, but let's get another one because that's where, and I just pushed one down. Is it gonna come back? Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. These are hard to shuffle. What would you like to send down today for our Taurus? There we go, okay. So um, let's take a look here at the one that I saw um, that just kept coming in as I was preparing for your reading. Angel of Positivity. <laughs> Yeah, and it's interesting how that happens and how it comes together, guys, here. Um, keeping that positivity, we see that here, guys, if you feel like you're not in that queen of wands, that, that confidence about how things are going here, you will get there, I want to say to you. And it is yours for the taken, all right? You have free will. Don't forget, Taurus. But look, that outcome, that wheel of fortune, going with the flow, guys, very strong here. Um, I have to say to you, this letting go, letting God energy has just been so strong because, well, winter will end when winter ends. The sun will 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 come when the sun comes. Um, but I do want to say, let go and let God and go with the flow because it's fast moving. So there is a message to keep your eyes open. And we see that here. Look, um, some of you are going into this saying, gosh, it's so fast moving and you're kind of looking to make sure things are safe and that I do see that here and that is um, a good thing and it is being validated for you to continue in that however there is this energy too of um, also going with the flow so going with the flow but keeping maybe I wouldn't say keeping one eye open interesting because that is um the justice card um here comes that twin flame soulmate energy again as I talk about it with you because of probably something that went on with you guys, because I'm seeing the justice card. It wanted to come into your reading. It's, you don't see it here, but I'm, it's coming into your reading. There is something here and we've talked a lot about it, this letting go energy here. So some of you are a little on guard. That's what I want to say. And it's good to be on guard in some ways because it helps you to make, um, you slow down and you, you don't just go into that full energy too and just jump, you know, you take a chance but you're careful about it. That's what I want to say, and which is really Taurus, but on the other hand, you can be very impulsive. <laughs> and Taurus, you know I love you um, very, very, very much. And you also can be, you can hold on to people and sort of like feel like they're only yours. 
just very interesting energy going on here too. So that can also be part of what's going on here as I'm seeing the justice card. Maybe something went on um, between the two of you guys. Um, interesting enough here, but your confidence in getting over guys, something here, seeing that new path, you see that? You see that new path. Look, and looking back proud too. Um, that's the other thing. I did feel the pride here. Um, somebody feeling proud, but in a in a positive kind of way, interestingly enough. That can also be you. Um, but I do feel your person coming through with that. Saying, look what I want to offer you. And we see that positive angel of positivity here too. Now that is a seven, and a seven is a lot about reflecting on things, but also assessing where you are now and what, what you want. And one of the interesting things about seven too is about control, but I feel like for you, Taurus, because you are actually, <laughs> you can be almost um, one of those things where you can be too controlling at times. So it's a double, um, triple, message here for you to to let go of that a little is what I want to say for yourself and going with the flow here. I'm um, looking at the big picture, making um, good choices here, choices that are, serve the higher good of all, help you to manifest and live your, your best life. Um, but it's, yeah, just letting the grip off a little so that you can have some peace in that and that you're not kept up at night or not feeling... Um, so pressured is what I want to say. And that positivity, I love that. And look, holding on to here with somebody with angel wings. <laughs> I have to say, and that rainbow, guys, all about hope. And look what's behind here. Uh, those are feathers coming down. As I said, it's very, wow. It's very, very strong that your angels are with you, guys. I have to say that again. I just have to say that again. And I also need to say to you, somebody here wanting to come in a very different way. Can it be somebody totally new and your your prayers are answered, your wishes are fulfilled? It really can be. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's your person coming in here and saying, look, no, it's completely different. I'm coming in a very different way. You see those feathers coming down. It is protective mode. I do see that. But it's also really all about this, you and this person here, um, your person. For some of you, maybe somebody new. But that hope there, look, that rainbow, that is what it's telling us here guys and look what you're doing do you see what you're doing here can you tell it's almost like they're facing us but it's a pause um here and possibly turning around i can't really tell it's really interesting um it, yeah actually you know what you see with the feet here this person is going here and this person is going here. Interesting how that goes, isn't it? Yeah, so there is a pause here, but that is that Queen of Wands energy coming through, guys. That new start is what I want to tell you. And coming out of that and going toward the rainbow. Toward what? Toward this. The Wheel of Fortune. It is in your reading here, guys. Um, I love that for you. Let's put this down here. And we're going to put your Wheel of Fortune back. Angel of past issues. <laughs> yeah. Yes, definitely about your person and very much in alignment with your reading Taurus. So much about that. Look at that. We talked about it. We talked about that sort of burning and rejuvenating here, that fertile ground after the, yeah, the renewal. It's super strong here, guys, of letting, letting it go, clearing the air, clearing the way clearing the path. This breathlessness that I felt is not a coincidence here, guys. It's the renewal. It's the change happening very, very much. We see the sun coming. Um, gosh, and there we go. Look, and this is coming to a five as well. These issues for some of you, this is about change, letting those things go now. It's the time now, guys, if you haven't, I have to say to you, it is the time. Look at all those birds there. Look at all those messages from the divine. Look at all those, those angels here just with you, answering prayers here. Look, this complete letting go. Look, the, the papers are flying here. It, it really is symbolic. And I also want to say to you, you were to write something down and, and do a ritual for yourself, letting that go, making an airplane out of it and letting it fly off, burning it, whatever it is, especially the burning it, I have to say, in a very safe way. I would never say that to you, okay? Um, but I want to say whatever rituals that you that are for you where you feel like you want to write things down and let them go, okay? But these past issues here, that change. And what is the five also? And, and aside from change, excuse me, 
can be about conflict and instability, and that is letting go of that. That is no accident that that is a five. It is letting go. Look how freed you are. I have to say, look at your arms wide open, receiving your messages here, very strongly receiving your messages, throwing them out saying, yes, I know, it's change, it's time, I feel it. And if you're not in this confident Queen of Wands energy, you go and get it. <laughs> You get it, Taurus, it's there for you. And it's all about what it is that you want from love and how is that How is that for you? It's gonna be different for everybody here, guys. Um, some of you are really wanting this new start and might take this proposal that we see here that's here for some of you. I have to say, your person here, getting that clarity with that Ace of Swords, that transactional sword here, guys, wanting to offer that to you, wanting what? That outcome with you, there's that one flower, that one that's just playing such a big part in your reading today that was here waiting for us, <laughs> which we did not see here. Guys, and now it just landed on the sun. That is the outcome. There is that sun card here. Look at that. The bird here, the, the divine spirit, angels making things lighter, sending those messages, those transformational butterflies here, guys. That queen of wands, that confidence, but also I'm going to leave it down here. Look, it just landed um, on the three of pentacles. I actually really love that for you because it's a lot what we talked about, getting over that third thing, that thing that's been in the way. We see it here with letting go of past issues, guys. That queen of wands, that nine of pentacles, I have to tell you. Guys, <laughs> almost the 10, the pentacles, the commitment, the practicalities here, the two of cups, somebody possibly offering, well, a proposal. Taurus, it's been in your reading for months now, can also just be simply representing that new beginning, offering reconciliation, having a conversation, and it's fast. It's so fast with this eight of pentacles. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that dog go. And that has been the energy of your reading. It's so fast. It is breathless. And look, this was the last card. We saw that. Things are changing for you, Taurus. It's the wheel of fortune. It's the wheel of fortune. And you're here, Taurus. You're here in this change. We see it. We felt it in the entire reading. Taurus, so what, what are you going to do? That is the question. What are you going to do, Taurus? Wow, I have to t tell you, um, did you hear that? <laughs> Taurus, your reading um, has been beautiful, um, fast, intense, and I almost feel like I'm also kind of running. <laughs> so this is gonna sound really strange here, but I do feel like in some ways, um, the breathlessness that I'm here and it's like, okay, I, it's let's let it go and start over. I feel like I need to get away from it a little. It, it's coming through so strongly in the throat chakra as we felt in the very beginning of your reading and it's still here. It's a very fast moving energy for you. A lot of change on the table and I, and I love, love, love that you have the positivity card and I also love that you have the letting go of past issues card. Okay. Guys, <laughs> and here you are again. Let's see if it, yeah, look at that glow. I love that for you. There is your selenite, Taurus, yours. I really love that. It's been glowing all week, you guys, I have to tell you, and that's just not the case all the time, and I'm gonna put it here. Okay, we're gonna look at channeled love messages, direct messages to you from your person. The light is changing. Okay, let's see what's going on here. If you feel it's you sending a message, it's what really, what resonates for you, so you go with that. And I feel very tongue-tied. I'm like, I can't keep up. Okay, that was me. That's yours. Please take me back. <laughs> yeah. Look, that two of cups here, and look at, not only are they saying, please take me back, it's, it's really um, fast, you guys. And guess what I didn't do? You're, you're probably noticing that already. Um, I have to say, I didn't get the overall energy. It's, it's better late than never, let's get it, okay? Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we please have an overall energy, better late than never, that might validate or clarify the reading today as we are late? For Taurus's person, please. Okay. 
Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we please have an overall energy for our Taurus today? Better late than never. <laughs> Whatever you want to send through here that might help offer some clarity, some validation, whatever it is that you feel you want to send down in regards to their reading today. Okay, guys, uh, let's take a look. We're just going to turn it right over and see what's happening. All right. <laughs> so now we have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. I want to tell you Scorpio energy here. Yeah. Uh, somebody trying to get the courage here, guys, to come to who? <laughs> well, the king, the queen, what is that for you guys? There are energies here, but there are no genders here. I want to tell you that. No gender in tarot here. But that love, look, somebody is holding on to it. I have to say to you guys, it's the king of wands and it's the queen of wands. And what are the wands? The wands are the energy of love. It's the relationship. Also, it's fire. Let's say, guys, look here. And look, do you see what's coming out of the fire here? I love this for you. Here in the queen of wands, guys. Um, interestingly enough, I want to tell you this is Aries energy, but look what's there. It's Leo. <laughs> it's a Leo here. And what else is coming through with the King of Wands? Really wanting to get the courage here. So guys, uh, so much about this confidence in coming together here. Uh, it's so strong, I have to tell you, in your person here. For a lot of you trying to come and get that confidence to make a proposal, to make an offer here, can be a proposal of marriage. That is the Two of Cups. I do feel that for a lot of you. It's been in your reading for many months, it's not, but it's not going to be for everyone, but for sure, an offering here. It's very emotional too, and also we see very, very passionate. But look at that lion popping right out. You see that? And there it is again, also that courage here in the King of Wands. Okay, guys, I'm glad that we went ahead and got the energy better late than never, right? Um, let's see what's going on here under your Okay, things did get messy because of that, but we're just going to let it go, aren't we? Obviously, I'm not totally letting that go, but <laughs> I'm trying here, guys. All right. Yeah, the three of cups here, guys. Um, cancer and energy, first of all, I want to tell you celebrations, reunions here. Uh, after what? Getting over that, guys. Um, what is that? Obstacles, that third thing. What is that, guys? For some of you, it really has to do with family or ideas because we see that here. The angel of past issues, letting them go, climbing over them, quite literally looking back saying, look, there's a path here. Look, that wall here. It was actually easier than we thought. Look, guys, I can get right up here. It wasn't, it wasn't difficult. Somebody's looking over going, huh? <laughs> Taurus. Here, um, I have to say to you, yeah, and also here with that Three of Cups, I want to tell you, um, guys, what happens at a wedding or coming back together, you celebrate here. We see that. And celebrate getting over that what? What is the highest here? It's one cup, very high, very much getting over that is what I want to say. You, Whatever that third is and celebrating that togetherness, whatever it is you're going to do, this turned over but it's there. I'm really glad that we looked because sometimes I forget and then I just never pull it. Yeah, look, it's that please take me back card. Who, Taurus, you're reading, I have to say. Okay, let's keep going here. Oh, did something just flip over? I think it flipped and it turned back over, so we're taking it. I'll do whatever it takes to convince you that our love is worth the trouble. <laughs> yeah, look. Looking back, saying, look, look, we can get over it. We got over it. We're getting over it. We're getting over it, or we got over it, or we can get over it, guys. These pentacles were probably just around here, um, or maybe even already stacked in this way, is what I want to tell you. And the three of pentacles really is about um, teamwork, working with another person here, guys, and also just working and getting over something 
and working on something that has been difficult to overcome. And we see letting go of past issues. We see it here also with the renewal and the Queen of Wands coming right below the Hierophant. For some of you, that does have to do with other people, families, location, can be cultural differences, religious differences, whatever. That is coming through strong for some of you, the religious differences, not for everybody. But that Three of Pentacles getting over that. I'll do whatever it takes to convince you. Our love is worth the trouble here. Um, guys, we see that also, that, that outcome here with that Three of Cups. Uh, Taurus, <laughs> you're reading. Also, your one really wants to be here on that Ace of Swords. I'll make things right. Yeah, Taurus. Wow. Flyer. I'm sorry I ghosted you. The light is changing as this comes down, came down, you guys, or just now. All right. Yeah, there. I think also for some of you, somebody really cared about what other people thought. That's the thing, and that's something that's being let go. If that is the case for you. That is definitely uh, on fire. <laughs> Starting over. The pain of heartbreak I just can't bear. Your absence makes me gasp for air. Oh, Taurus, you're reading. That, the theme, the, the breathlessness has been so strong. Lots of validation and clarification here, guys. So much. And very, very much in the beginning of the reading. These are both yours. This longing for you is intense. Wow. Yeah, your reading is really so full of energy and light, I want to say to you. Also, just a, a lot like Capricorn and Virgo as well. It's, it's very um, high vibrational is what I want to say to you. Really very, very much. And this breathless energy, I just can't say I miss you because I haven't even begun getting over you. And the just, let me reread this, excuse me. It's moving fast. And let me collect myself here. Okay. I can't say I miss you because I haven't even begun getting over you. Yeah, it's all over here. I haven't let you go. They're just trying to get the courage to come, Taurus. It, it's really... I think I might even have said this in your last reading, but it feels like the ball is in your court, so to speak. That might mean something to someone. I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> that's just not really how I think. Um, but yeah, that's for somebody here. Okay, I don't want to lose your angel coming off. Wow, guys, the Wheel of Fortune card there, but I want to set this down. Okay, last chance. Last chance. Look. That's yours. My love for you is unconditional. Actually, it wants to be here with your person's energy. Taurus, you're reading. Okay, we're going to look at channeled song messages. Can be your song comes down or song of importance, relevance to you. Can also be the artist or simply there is a message within the song, whether that is through one word. Um, a lyric, an entire line, a location, a name. And if you feel you're sending the song to your person, please go with that. That's how it resonates for you. Okay. I couldn't help but ask for you to say it all again. I tried to write it down, but I could never find a pen. I'd give anything to hear you say it one more time. That the universe was made just to be seen by my eyes. Sleeping at last, Saturn. Yeah, your person is sleeping because they know what they want here. Are you? I think a lot of you are beginning to now, I have to say. I do feel like you've gone through some sleepless nights. Taurus here, but there is this um, confidence coming for you. And if you feel like you're not in it, it is a direct message, I have to say, guys. Okay, things are going to start getting a little bit crowded now. <laughs> That's that part in the reading. Do you want to say to your Taurus through song? You're the only one I can talk to. The only one I can really read. 
I know you give because you want to. Don't you think it's time you learn to let yourself receive? I was born to love you, Ray LaMontagne. Really wanting that offering here and they can't get there fast enough. Also wanting to lead the way, I have to say to you. Your person wanting to lead that way, guys. Um, that nine, almost that ten, but we see the ten with the Wheel of Fortune. We see the ten with the Sun card here, guys. Really wanting to lead that way, I have to say. And we also see that fact in the Two of Cups. Okay, where am I putting this? <laughs> It's um, very difficult, I have to say to you. I really do not like covering up your cards. Do you want to say? Oh yeah, yeah, at last. The skies above are blue. My heart was wrapped up in clover. The night I looked at you. At last, Etta James, written by Harry Warren here, guys. That clover is all about good luck, and we see the Wheel of Fortune here, and the light is just really changing for you, I have to say, Taurus. So a confirmation of that. And the clover, also I need to tell you, does repre represent, excuse me, not only serendipity, a lot of you have that connection with each other, very serendipitous connection, I have to tell you, but also the spirit, excuse me, offering love, putting love in your path, guys. Putting love in your path, Taurus. Is this your person? Well, for most of you, I have to say, but for some of you, it can be new love. And it's super fast. It's fast. Guys. Okay. Taurus, you're reading. I'll be your hope. I'll be your love. Be everything that you need. Truly, madly, deeply savage garden. All right, here's the thing about this card, guys. We've talked about it a lot here. But your person, we talked about your person wanting to confirm that for you, wanting to make sure you know that. They had the clarity here, guys, in this Ace of Swords of what they want. That outcome with you with the Sun card, guys. <laughs> That confidence, too, of that restart here, and also knowing that you're embodying that now, guys. Look, I have to say, I'm showing you that they can get over that hurdle, that you can get over that look. Those three of pentacles, the commitment, the, the obstacles in the way, the partnership, climbing right over them saying, look, it's not, it wasn't as hard as we thought. There is a new path. What can that new path be for some of you? A proposal. It's been in your reading for months, I have to tell you. Maybe not marriage for everybody can also be that coming together, offering to get together and talk, wanting right. to get died there, guys. And fast here with that Eight of Pentacles. Fast. So fast in that change here, guys. That Wheel of Fortune. Taurus. Taurus. When I feel driven, I have to tell you to... Um, pick up the cards again. It's because there are messages for you that really um, want to come through. That spirit really wants you to take, I want to say, um, seriously. <laughs> yeah, very serious messages here. Look, the Hierophant is, is moved over there, but I have to squish it back. Um, that, is, that is what's happening. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to move on here. We already got the love messages, excuse me, and I'm going to put this here. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages. I don't feel good enough for you. Taurus, your person, you, who's sending that? This is also yours. We belong together. I'm putting this with the Two of Cups here, guys. I'm sorry I ran. Yeah, there's a lot of clarity coming to your person here. I see some of you are, I have to say, <laughs> I do feel that Queen of Wands energy too um, in your person, but also coming through from you, Taurus, of just, it's hard. You you guys do hang on to stuff. You, are, you can be like, not just possessive sometimes. <laughs> you know, I love you. We all have things, right? Everyone can be. But this feeling of, the stuff that needs to be let go, these past issues, is being really um, kind of put in here, whether you're coming back with your person or moving on, because you can be that person sometimes, a little bit like Scorpio in that way. Well, especially if you have Scorpio in your chart, but of holding on to stuff, maybe not letting some hurts go, I have to say. And I think that might be, for a lot of you, something that you were 
still annoyed about that elephant in the room that we talked about. I dream of you. Okay, this one just flipped over. I made so many mistakes. Yeah, that's another thing that has been... Whew, um, realized here. Okay, this is also wanting to be seen. It's really hard living without you. These are yours. All right. I'm sending you telepathic messages. I'm not surprised by that. I think a lot of you know too, you might, they might have already come, I have to say, but you might be feeling their energy. Look, you guys, I miss you. And are you ready? I love you. Taurus, I love this for you. And look, I'm putting it here with your two of cups, guys. Okay, last chance, Taurus's person. Last chance. Romance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look. I'm waking up. Yeah, we saw that. It's just very... Waking up to what? Well, what they want to do here. There is that reunion here on the laurel wreath, you guys. Waking up knowing um, this transactional sword here. Wanting to... Having clarity. Having received clarity. And also wanting to get that across to you. Of what it is they want here. That sun card, guys. It's... So super duper strong here. They know that you're in this Queen of Wands energy. <laughs> They're also in some ways feeling confident, but in other ways, you see that lion trying to get the courage. And we see that also here in their overall energy card, guys, excuse me, with the King of Wands, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands there getting over those obstacles and that Three of Pentacles here. Look how easy it was, they're saying. There's the path. Letting go here, guys. Angel of past issues. This, the Really, the five here, the change. And letting go of that conflict, the instability here. Who And doing what? Well, possibly offering this, that two of cups, guys. Whether that is a proposal for marriage or a proposal to start something new, which we also see in the Queen of Wands, guys. That restart after that wand has burned down, that regeneration, the renewal. It's so super strong here. But the two of cups, guys, and fast now, the energy has been so fast in your reading, Taurus. I have to say that eight of pentacles here, that commitment, the eight, the action, the movement, they can't get to you fast enough. I have to tell you for this wheel of fortune, Taurus, you're here. This outcome, <laughs> Taurus, your reading has been amazing and beautiful. And you, you, I would say you hold the cards, but I think that you, you spin the wheel. <laughs> That's what I want to say to you. You are spinning that wheel. You are in charge of that wheel. Taurus. Wow. Okay. Who? last time I'm picking up those cards, guys, I want to tell you it's the last time we are going to move on now, guys, to totems. Um, this is your bonus reading, by the way. <laughs> this was supposed to be quick. But, you know, if you watch my readings, you know my readings are not quick. They never are. It's, yeah, it's just how it is. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's turning out to be much longer than um, I had intended. But it's been happening really um, all week, I have to say. We are only three videos into bonus readings, but we will be, I will be getting them out. I'm trying to get out a lot more for you in the coming days. And I do want to say Valentine's Day is coming up, guys. Um, and I am trying to go live. I want to tell you, I'm working on the setup and uh, moderators and just trying to get it all set up. It's been in my um, plans for a very long time. So keep, um, take it, make sure your notifications on, keep an eye out. It, it might not happen, but I'm, that's why I haven't announced it, but I'm really trying to make it happen. So, okay, let's get going. Taurus, we're going to use the Wheel of Fortune today. We're going to start with numbers. 
There's a five. I'm not surprised that change coming through again here. Here is a zero. And whatever that means for you guys, I want to say to you as well, can be birthdays, anniversaries. Sometimes there are angel messages too. If you watch my readings, you know that they come through. All right, we have some letters, an F and an I that can also be seen as a small L. I want to tell you, very interesting what's here. <laughs> Where do I start? Let's start here. Your person sending that through again, guys, the I love you here. I'm going to put that here with your two of cups. I have to say to you and the I miss you, that is coming through as well. Look, a starfish. When a starfish comes down, a lot about infinite possibilities, making something work that wasn't. We see angel of past issues here. We see climbing over these obstacles in the three of pentacles. Guys, um, it's very much in your reading today. I'm actually going to keep it here on the wheel of fortune and in the middle. Look what else you have here. You have bike, cycle, cycle ending guys, cycles ending. Look, there are those two wheels. There are the two of you. The cycle, definitely renewal. We've seen it in the Queen of Wands. I'm going to stop because you, if you've gone this far, you've watched the reading. So just a minute. My battery needs to get changed. I have two left. Hi, here. guys. Okay, so things got a little bit funky when I changed the battery. I kind of knocked into it quite hard. So let me just move things a little so that you can still see your reading okay. Okay, I think everything is still here. A little bit not, but... Let me just make sure. Okay, guys. <laughs> so here are your last two. First of all, well, let's start here. Look, when a guitar comes down, when an instrument comes down, musical notes, you know what that's about? A lot about making peace. Yes, you or your person can be a musician. I have to tell you, Taurus, that's just a given. But it's needing to make peace here. Your person really wanting to make peace, I have to tell you. Um, you too, Taurus. I think you've kind of cried uncle is what I want to say. But look what's in particular. It opens. An offering. A gift. Something here. We see that in the Two of Cups, guys. For some of you, that might be a proposal. But I have to say, it can also be just about the new beginnings. But an offering, nonetheless, can also be coming through with a message, I have to say. But there you go and look I love this also for you the last coming down is a key and it is I have to say to you uh, a flower as well love that is love guys and what does a key do a key unlocks something that needs to be unlocked it sees things that need to be seen something that was very precious that you've locked away that you've kept um, locked is what I want to tell you. Opening up something here, some things coming out. The key to what is that going to be for you, Taurus? And I want to say your Hierophant card is here. That is your energy, Taurus. And as with the Hierophant, there it's all about um, unlocking that, just sort of agreeing, um, seeing what it is that is going on, what are the obstacles, what are the things that might possibly be blocking you, and how can you overcome them. We see it here too, guys, with the Three of Pentacles. We see the Sun card, the Wheel of Fortune, and now you have the key. I love that. And, you know, whatever that is for you as well is what I want to say to you. It is a key for unlocking and seeing something here, guys. Things being revealed, and it could change everything. And we see that here. There's a lot of change on the table for you, Taurus. Whatever it is you decide. You do have the Sun card. You do have the Wheel of Fortune here. Taurus, that is your reading today. I wish you well, love and light and all things good. I look forward to seeing you at your next reading, Taurus. In the meantime, make sure you have your notifications on. Content is uh, definitely flowing now, so you will be getting a lot more regular readings. And yeah, happy Valentine's Day. That's you're hanging out with your friends or doing, excuse me, nothing or going on a date or <laughs> hanging out with your animals, whatever that is for you. Enjoy it. Take care of yourself. Go get whatever chocolate or whatever it is you want. And remember to double check whether I'm going live or not. I need to um, really troubleshoot that today, figure it out. So, okay, I'm going now. I love you, Taurus. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.